Okay, quick progress update on um, the Universal Monsters guitar. Um, had to sand it all back to bare wood because, um, as far as I could tell, there was no sealer or primer or anything on this baby. So, um, all the paint was chipping off quite badly. There's a hell of a ding there that I'm in the process of repairing bit by bit. Um, but we have grain filled. Uh, and I'm just in the process of sanding all that grain filler nice and smooth. Uh, there you can see where I've applied the grain filler. And then there you can see where I've sanded it smooth. So we shall carry on with that. Okay, so we've now um, based it in black. All ceilings done, all grain filling, all that lot. Based it in black. We will now let that sit for a little while, just all settle and stuff, and um, we'll get busy with the artwork. I've also got to make some custom pickup covers, because um, this is a seven string, so uh, we'll do that as well. Okie dokie, we have the guitar all sprayed black. Um, as you already know, this is going to be a Universal Monsters guitar. This is what's going on it on the front. And um, if you see my Jessica Alba video, um, you would see me do this a different way. Um, I used to cut each little bit out, like I would cut out Frankenstein's nose and spray slightly through it then I'll cut out the other lighter areas and spray slightly through it uh, that will give me kind of a road map of where to go but um, as you can imagine it's very time consuming so uh, these days I'm into more freehand stuff so what I'm going to do is get some white trace down paper uh, for those who don't know trace down is like a wax free carbon paper and I'm going to trace this onto the guitar and just have at it freehand. So there we go. What I've done is I've cut out the bridge area on the printout. Um, because I've done this a few times, I've managed to get it pretty much the exact right size. Um, and it, it lines up nicely. Um, so now I know that I've got the scale right. Um, I can lay the other sheet down on that side. Um, I've I've got to make some custom pickup covers because this is a seven string guitar uh, and you can't get seven string pickup covers. So um, I'm going to cut out the bit that goes above the pickups and keep hold of that so that once I've made the plastic covers um, I'll know what needs to go on there. Okie dokie, using the trace down paper there, we have traced the, um, the design there onto the guitar, as you can see, there's a Wolfman, Frankenstein, Dracula, Phantom of the Opera, if the reflection get out of the way, and the mummy and all that lot. Um, so now that's traced on there, we are going to get busy with the painting. Okay, for this I am going to use my trusty Ardren Steenbeck Infinity CR Plus. And... ETAC Private Stock. Uh, tinting white. Because it's a bit more subtle than them. Um, the others I find. Um, you could do tight detail like this with uh, wicked detail colours. Um, there you go, the wicked detail white. Um, but you get more tip dry than you do with ETAC, and uh, I find if you reduce this ETAC stuff down, um, say five drops of that and five drops of the Auto Air 4011 reducer um, that, that's all you need so uh, with that in mind let's go